a very good morning. My name is Whitney Anairi and my name is Hazira Binti Mangsin. Uh, we are from Physical and Health Education uh, from UITM Puncha Alam. So today, uh, Hazira and I will talk about practice teaching style. For this kind of practice teaching style commonly used in physical and health education. Normally, this kind of practice teaching style used in certain tasks or activity that, may, that must be performed according to the specific model which involves students for direct feedback from teacher. Um, this kind of practice, practice teaching style also used when we conduct huge amount of people or students and during risky activity. This practice teaching style is very similar to the command style which teacher, uh, teacher is a primary decision maker. The talks will also start with demonstration and description of what need to be achieved. Kind of teaching style, the demonstration does not necessarily come from teacher. It also may come from student or teaching aid such as the audio visual. Then the student practice the skill either by their own or with group as the teacher will observe their performance and give feedback. Common style and practice teaching style is practice teaching style does permit students make some decisions. For example, students can choose their pace, time or skill that need, that need to be used and they can also choose either they work by their own or in a group and teacher of course can walk around during the activity and make corrections and providing encouragement toward the student at the end of this practice teaching style the student and teacher will and will emphasize the point that have been conducted uh, for the next lesson so now we move to Hazira that will conduct the activity Hello, my name is Hazira. So before uh, we do the activity, let me uh, tell to all of you about the advantages and disadvantages uh, of practice teaching style. There are five advantages in practice teaching style. Firstly, students begin to experience independence. Secondly, students will uh, increase uh, their skills of communication and thirdly students can determine the progression of the class for example uh, they know the pace uh, of the game and where to start and where to stop fourthly the practice teaching style is very useful in coaching and fifthly a teacher making a correction during activity and give uh, and teacher can give feedback at the end of the class. Next, for the disadvantages in practice teaching styles, there are two disadvantages. Firstly, time on task can be affected. And secondly, most, most of the time, the decision is made by the teacher. Uh, technique. Today, I will teach about uh, two techniques in passing frisbee. So the first technique is forehand and the second technique is backhand. So to fall to the ground at about your shoulder height. Like this. About your shoulder height. The teeth must parallel to the ground. And in this uh, first step, you must use the door knob motion that I mentioned at the beginning of this step. Okay, the door no motion. So you just so everyone you did a great job. So as a conclusion, uh, this practice in style can commonly used in physical and health but can be used in another subject uh, depend on how teacher plan their lesson plan and how they will conduct the activity